Fires at Quebec today after last night's match when they took the second chance to beat Huddersfield. A floodlight failure saw the match abandoned when the teams met at the Vets three weeks ago. Huddersfield leading 1-0 at the time, but things soon looked gloomy for them last night. Andy Thompson's challenge on Colin West, giving the Swans a third-minute penalty. Peter Bodak scored in, and the defender making contact with the forward, although he ended up trying not to. So, Robbie James, the man on the spot, with the chance to put his team in front. And the Swansea skipper made no mistake. His eighth goal of the season, and in fact his first for eight games, as his shot went one way, and Steve Hardwick, the former Oxford United keeper, went the other. Robbie James not just on target, but very much on form as well, sending Paul Rayner away here, only for the striker to pull his effort wide at the far post. Still, a little later, Michael Kirkeray forced a fine save from Lee Bracey at the other end, suggesting Swansea could do with a second. When James gave Rayner a clear run down the left again, they almost got it. The low cross, finding the unmarked Peter Bodak, but not the sort of shot to sting the goalkeeper's hands. Paul Rayner would have gone closer in the second half, his header bringing the best out of Hardwick, only for the referee to spot some cushion in any case, so the Swans had to settle for what they had. Huddersfield did string together some neat approach play, although with Lee Bracey so confident, he never felt they'd equalise. Just one goal in it at the finish, enough for three points for Swansea, and enough to take them into sixth place. Yes, the Swans in one of the playoff positions at the moment, but what about those horrible Huddersfield shirts? Perhaps the floodlights did us a favour when they failed in the first game. Anyway, here's the parade of Easter fixtures.